Hello friends, uh, welcome to the day two of the estimation course. So today we'll be covering the some of the topics here. So today we'll be covering ex excavation and uh, the particular uh, CAD file which will be required. I'll just give you the link in the description. Just download the CAD file from there and you'll be good to go. Okay. So the first uh, topic is the excavation will lead to find out the quantity of the excavation. So those of you for who have been to site, it's okay. They can know, but those of you who have not been to the site for them, I have some reference. So you can see in this picture, there is a picture of a footing and the footing has been excavated and the PCC is being done even above that. Uh, you can see these uh, is the reinforcement cage and this is the starter for the columns and this white, you know, this color things, these are the cover. Cover of uh, 75 mm has been provided in this footing. So this is that. So there you can see there here also excavation is done. So excavation will be done up to the height, what whatever is the height of the or the depth of the foundation, the excavation will be done. Plus the uh, amount of sand filling and PCC which is required. That much has to be excavated. And if the footing size is uh, a particular size, suppose the footing size is one meter into one meter, then at least you know uh, some amount of, that is one point one five. Uh, on this side and 1.15 on this side, total 1.3 meter. Some portion has to be kept extra because for this shuttering will be required. To, as you can see here, the shuttering is provided. So for the properly providing, providing the shuttering, the some gap is required. And also the, the, the laborers can go down there and operate. So that for, for that also, this is required. In some places, uh, you will see that uh, such shuttering material not provided in the footing, only in the, in the earth only they do without uh, using the shuttering that is not advised to reduce proper, so proper shuttering material even in case of your footings as you can see here the proper properly shuttering has been done properly cover has been done and the columns as you can see uh, columns uh, actually they are tied with the help of other you know rivers uh, as you can see in this uh, picture here here also the pcc after excavation the pcc is done and they are laying the bars so here you can get an idea of how you know this excavation is done so we'll move on and uh, we'll complete the excavation uh, part here. So first of all, I'll uh, just you will not give you any Excel file, but I'll show you how to make the Excel file. Okay, just uh, go and open your uh, MS Excel or any other spreadsheet program which you might be using, uh, which you are maybe comfortable with. So using this uh, program here, and uh, I'll call this uh, building uh, building estimation sheet, right? So building estimation sheet, just make it Excel. The benefit of using Excel is that uh, you can just change all the values and uh, you can do it very comfortably, okay? So I'll just press Control plus A. I like to just uh, work in Times New Roman uh, font. So Times New Roman and uh, my font size will be 12, okay? So like this, uh, we'll, we'll start and then we'll just start uh, doing the other things, okay? So once you open this uh, particular Excel sheet, I'll just uh, here, first of all, I'll write here the, uh, we can write, keep a particular portion here for the heading. Uh, we'll just select those cells and margin center. So I'll, I'll just uh, prepare this, uh, like you don't have any experience of Excel, I'll prepare this from the basics. So don't need to worry if you haven't used Excel for Excel programming before also. So here we'll just uh, write here uh, building building estimate bracket G plus one. We'll write all the details later. Okay. So G plus one, you just write it here. And uh, first thing we'll just write here serial number. Right. So serial number. Uh, will be written here and uh, the first uh, thing which we'll write here is we'll do one here and this will be earthwork so when you do this we'll just uh, i'll just select this and uh, mark it in yellow and uh, you can just use the center option to center it right so this serial number and uh, this will be your length, length, meter, breadth, meter, height, 
because in most cases you'll find the length breadth height. So that's why I'm writing length breadth height. This will be in meter and uh, uh, your quantity. Quantity will be there and uh, this quantity will just write it make it as a center and this then will be the unit what will be the unit some some quantity will be running meter some quantity square meter so we'll write the unit so when you are talking about the earthwork the earthwork will be your unit will be cubic meters or count so we can just write cubic meter here so this will be the unit just uh, do it here so earthwork i'll just uh, uh, give the description a little bit further. Earthwork for foundation. Precisely, we will be going to do artwork for foundation. As you had seen here, I can mark the two cells, not wrap text, control plus Z, mark the center of the two cells. Artwork for foundations, you can just use a single color for this, or you can use a separate color as well. Suppose you use this, this color. So, artwork for foundation. You can make this your 1.1 1 .1 into 1. Okay, because this is a part of it. Select this cell. This is the center option. Obviously, thing will be in the center. So, artwork for foundation, we are uh, naming it. So, here, first of all, we'll uh, see the drawings and uh, we'll see our foundation drawing. So, these are the foundation sizes and we have this uh, three types of foundation. And the foundation depth is also mentioned. 1.5 is the foundation depth. So, below ground level, you need to go 1.5 plus uh, 0.75 plus 0.1. So uh, here in this uh, foundation thing, just go uh, your F1, right? Uh, F1, and then just uh, you can drag here. F2, F3 will automatically come. Select this and do it in the center. Everything will come at the center. So F1 length, breadth, and height and quantity you'll find. And the quantity will be in come, whatever quantity you find out. Now height, uh, now height of this, all these things, uh, all this artwork will be fixed, which is uh, equals to your, or you find in meter, 1.5 plus 0.75 for the PCC and uh, plus uh, 0.1 for the sand filling. So it will automatically calculate it, 2.35, it will be the same, just uh, drag it, it will be the same for all. Now, there is this length and uh, this uh, breadth of this. So this will be different. So whatever will be the size, uh, plus 0.3, that is 0.15 on, or you can just, uh, if, you, if you just uh, go by uh, 0.75 or three inches from both sides, that is also enough, three inches on both sides. So suppose this uh, footing size, uh, let's take the footing size of F1. So F1 is 1.85 into 1.85 plus 3 inches, that is plus 75 mm on both sides. So 3 inches plus 3 inches, that is uh, your, you know, 75 plus 75 mm on both sides, that is 150 mm or 0.15. So as you can see in this picture also, I'll just show you the picture again. Suppose there is, uh, we are uh, doing a 3 inches extra on this side, oh, sorry, 75 mm extra on this side and 75 mm extra on this side. 75 mm extra on this side, 75 mm extra on this side. So you can take this as per the excavation. Sometimes it will be 75, sometimes it will be 100. So whatever you are preferred, uh, you can you can take it. Uh, you know, sometimes if you take more, there is no such problem. But again, if you take too much more, then the cost will be increased. And if you take less, then there will be problem in putting the shuttering. Okay. Minimum three, 75 mm you have to take extra along the both sides. So here I'll I'm going to take, let's say, you know, I'll take 100 mm on both sides, okay? Uh, you know, so the total will be, if I take 100 mm on both sides, the total will be 200 mm, okay? So 1.85 plus 0.2, I'll do here equals to 1.85 plus 0.2. I can add 0.15, that is the minimum, I'm taking the maximum part just for the estimation purpose, okay? So this will also be the same because this is a square footing. F1 size and uh, then uh, it will be the size for the F2 and uh, F2 size is 1.65 and F3 size is 1.3. So first of all, I write the size here. So it will be 1 equals to 1.65 plus 0.2, right? And it will be equals to 1.3 plus 0.2, okay? So this is it. And this uh, will also be the same here and uh, this is the same. And another thing you have to add here. So to add a cell, 
just uh, you know just uh, move your cursor here and right click and uh, insert if you see the sl is inserted in the left side so if you want to add here just go before the quantity and click on insert here so it, another cell is inserted here so here just add the number okay number you just add here and uh, number can be small the quantity so now you can see how many f1 f2 and f3 are there in this uh, you know this structural drawing so number of f1 are 1 2 3 4 5 so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 five number of f1 you can find here so five number of f1 so you just uh, click on here and write five so this is five and uh, make it at the center i want to just make it at the center make sure so number is five and uh, for this here again you go and find here your what is f so f2 we have one f2 here and uh, we don't have any other f2 so there is one f2 here one and then for f3 one two so two number of f3 is here so two number of f3 is here two so now you can check this uh, this five plus six seven uh, six and uh, six plus two seven eight so whether there are eight number of footing one two three four five six seven so eight number of footing are there so it is okay so now comes the quantity so quantity will simply be the multiplication of all this so this into this into this into this enter and you can uh you know just uh, drag this downwards and if you want uh, this to be you know just uh, to two places because this is a lot of there is a lot of you know uh, points after that equals to just you can use the command r u n d uh, we'll draw the round up command so round up as you can see rounds up a uh, num uh, rounds the number up away from zero okay just uh, you can use this command round up and uh, the number of digits you can see number and then the number of digits this into this and comma number of digits we want of the decimal that is two let's say and enter so 49.38 as you can see it is approximated to two places just to drag it so it's looking better just do it and uh, move it at the center right so everything will be at the center so quantity is found out this also we want at the center right so we we have found out the quantity and if you want to just uh, use this uh, give this a uh, bold look as well and uh, this one also your bold look okay so till now if you need this much of cells you can just uh, uh, you know this uh, unmerge this cells and uh, merge it up to here right only use this much so why bother and you can also uh, just uh, give it a highlight here building estimate g plus one earthwork for foundation so now we have found out the earthwork for foundation now for x in uh, or you could say excavation for foundation or earthwork for foundation now earthwork is also in remaining parts as well in here in this list also you can see backfilling so backfilling what is uh, what is this exactly this uh, backfilling uh, we will know here just in this uh, picture you can see so as you can see this is the plinth level so when after the foundation level is done it will be the soil will be filled here the earthwork will be there and after the, whatever the soil which is excavated it will be again uh, you know just put here compressed and all that cost will also has to be added while in the estimation but when you go up to the plinth level this is the plinth level a column has been going out and in the plinth level inside the plinth level you have to you know just fill your the soil fill with the help of soil or in approved soil if it's large like usually soil is filled if it's a normal building then uh, your sand filling is preferred because sand settles uh, doesn't leave any quiet wet and settles quickly uh, even if you do it in the earth you have to compact it properly so that it doesn't settle so this filling uh, of soil inside the plinth level this is called the back filling so uh, we will also deal with it in the next uh, lecture but uh, this lecture will keep it till now 
uh, this part we have covered the excavation or the earthwork you can just also uh, call this uh, earthwork and you can just call this your earthwork for foundation or excavation for foundation we have covered this and the next part we will cover the remaining part putting pieces putting rcc and later on we will cover backfilling also so part by part we will complete this uh, you know this uh, course and uh, if you found it useful make sure to drop a like it helps to reach out more people and also share with your friends thank you bye bye keep learning